What's going on, YouTube? I'm Colin. You're watching. Can you see my hands doing that? I... What's going on, YouTube? I'm Colin. That doesn't look good. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Colin. You're watching No Fashion, and today we're going to be talking about Armani. But no matter how much you spend, if you don't take good care of what you have, you won't be well dressed. Armani is a luxury fashion house based out of Italy, founded by Giorgio Armani, who is now worth $9.3 billion. Giorgio Armani was born in 1934 in Italy. From a young age, Giorgio was fascinated by human anatomy. He pursued a career in medicine at the University of Milan, but departed two years later to join the army in 1953. After leaving the army, Giorgio began working for a famous department store, La Renascente, and later became a designer for Nino Ceruti. In the late 1960s, Giorgio met and became friends with Sergio Gagliotti. With his new friend's encouragement, Giorgio began to take freelance work designing for several well-known fashion houses, and in 1975, the two of them founded the company Giorgio Armani together in Milan. The company received a warm introduction when they released their first line of ready-to-wear men's clothing, followed by a women's line in 1976. And in 1979, he founded Giorgio Armani Corporation, followed by another branch in America. Following this, several other branches, including Mani for men and women, Le Collesiani for swimwear, underwear, and accessories, and the following year, they added Armani Jr., Armani Jeans, and Emporio Armani. The goal for Emporio was to reach a much more youthful audience at a lower price point that the social middle class could afford. Before 1980, Armani struggled to really make an impact in the US market like he had done in Europe. It was not until his designs appeared in 1980 film American Gigolo and a few years later when he provided a lot of the wardrobe for the show Miami Vice that many of Hollywood's most successful began wearing his clothing to special events like red carpets. Throughout the 80s, wearing the Armani brand quickly became known as a symbol of success the most desirable of which were wearing power suits that Armani had designed. All of this success led to Giorgio and Sergio to open many more stores, including several in Milan. However, in 1985, Sergio Gagliotti, Giorgio's close friend and business partner, passed away due to AIDS. In the wake of the news, many had thought this loss to Giorgio and the company as a whole would majorly impact the company's ability to function. However, Giorgio was ready to show the market he was just as adept at leading the company as he was at designing for it. He began to expand the Armani empire first by opening a restaurant, then buying a clothing manufacturing company called Cement, as well as numerous other ventures. In the wake of several other business ventures like home goods and book publishing, 2005 brought the first Armani hot couture, brought on by Armani's need to challenge himself. Today, the Armani brand has opened 500 stores and their products can be found in many more. This latest venture has been in the hotel business, opening a hotel in Dubai, followed shortly by a hotel in Milan. Armani is a brand that was built by a man who has remained humble through it all. The Armani brand demonstrates that fashion should not be something hoarded by the rich and the powerful, and that though these are the groups who largely funded his success in the beginning, his ambitions are far from standing by exclusivity, as so many other luxury brands have done and continue to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here today, please consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. If you have any feedback for me on like how to not butcher Italian names, please drop it in the comment section down below. Thanks.